Hello, welcome back to the channel. I uh, hope everyone is doing well, everyone is doing fine, keeping safe. Sorry it's been a little while since I posted that uh, video. Uh, the weather has been awful. Every time I've tried to come out here and make a quick little video, the heavens have been opening up on me. Uh, today I saw the sun come out a little bit. So I thought I'd quickly get out here and try and find something to do. You can see the skin has been busy. That means a quick little thing. The leaves uh, ended up in there. Some of the holes have ended up in there. All the fish are doing really fine. All swimming away happy. I've got to clean up the skimmer. I've got a couple of bits that I've actually come up with today to do. Um, the pump over there, you can see in the beeper end, which is a EA 30,000 litre pump. I'm going to be disconnecting that and raising it onto which I have a flower bed put in, in the pond. So it's going to be about around under a foot deep and that pump is feeding direct to the vacuum shower. I've got no um, pre-filter or anything on the backing. I'm thinking of possibly ordering a citrus gift sometime this week. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right. Citus Sid from EA. I'm going to be ordering that from Absolute Koi online. Possibly sometime this week. And get that all fitted in there as well. The back of the shower. The top tier has um, jack matting and built floss and 300 mil micro mesh and that needs to get cleaned pretty much every other day and the weather's a change in here as we all know and I like to kind of come out here a little bit less to maintain all the filtration stuff so I'm going to be installing that in and hopefully that will be less maintenance on the back end. Um, already been to the fish store today to buy some bits and bobs a couple of connectors i ran out of my ea gel which all the bacteria is slowly dying away now as the winter's coming in but still adding a little bit in to help everything i'm also gonna drop a bomb in there as well uh, into the nexus and just a couple of bits of connectors just to raise that pump up like I mentioned um, I've also put some insulation into the pond sorry not into the pond into the um, filter box just pop you guys here on the tripod It'd be hard to do this one handed over here you can see um, just the tops the lid of the box um, I've installed some Sorry about the sun. Installed some insulation in there, which are these stuff here. 
And I purchased them from B&Q. I think a pack was 15 quid or 20 quid, something like that. You get eight in a pack. And I've just basically cut them all into size and squished them all in. And since we've had some heavy rain, uh, they've come a little bit loose. So I'm gonna be screwing them in, making them a bit more secure. Plus I've got, I think, three, four sheets left there. And I'm gonna be installing them onto that side there. Because a lot of the wind comes in from the side. As you can see from the back end, be fine for the wind. But inside, gets all in from the gaps. So I'm just gonna basically put some of those in there. And I've got some of these stuff, spares that I used for the um, covering, polycarbonate sheets that I put over the pond to um, protect from wind and stuff like that. Uh, I've got some spare ones of these anyway, so I'm just going to screw these in up into there and get them a bit more secure and put them into the side. If you remember from the last video as well, I purchased um, a couple of these LED lights. I'm going to be installing them in as well today. Um, so if I do have to come out at night, I've got some sort of light in there in the filter box so I can see better. So blabbering on a bit too much um, let me just start doing what I need to do it's possibly going to be a little bit cold for me today so I might have to get into the pond slightly um, temperature of the pond what have we got here temperature of the pond Hello, hello everyone. Um, make this around 13, 14, maybe 15 on the temperature. In the pond. I've also installed a little thermometer. You can see right over there. Sorry about the camera, it's gone a little bit blurry. Um, and the probe of that is straight into the Nexus. And once I get around there, I'll show you guys the temperature of that as well. The camera's gone a bit better. You can see right there. So let's just start clicking on. Uh, let's just do a few little bits that we need to do and take it from there. So first I'm going to start off with screwing all these insulation stuff in, putting those to the side, getting the lights on, um, dropping a bomb into the Nexus and then last but least I'm going to jump in the pond, hopefully not jump in the pond but take that pump out. Um, connect it all up onto the first bay and take it from there and since the waters are getting colder as well um, don't want to keep that pump um, at the lower end of the pond it will be staying warmer there so it would be a good idea to raise it up a little bit and the bottom drain um, pump which is a EA again a 10,000 litre pump which is right where I'm pointing and that feeds straight into the Nexus um, I was running that at, on, the, on the speed controller at 70, 75 and I've dropped that right down to 55 so that's running slower so trying to maintain the lower end of the deeper end of the pond sorry and warmer for the fish uh, the water warmer for the fish sorry okay so let's start cracking on catch you in a bit um, screwed on these ones the ones on the back they're all done much more better now now they won't be hanging out hanging down a piece 
So they're all nice and tightly snug in there now. So I'm just finishing off the last one, just getting the last little bits in and the top of the filter box will be all complete. So let's just finish up here. That was the tripod falling over by the wind. So, back to where it was. One over there. One here. And then one more on the lower corner down there. And the lid is done simple stuff today so we jump into the pond so. okay these are all done all nicely screwed in they're not going anywhere now On the insulation the same there as well not sure if you can see from the sun they're all fitted in there as well from the side screwed them on as well so now there will be no sort of draft coming through the side of the box just take you off the tripod and show you so that, as you can see all this is all pedal about a centimetre and a half gaps all in between there so now they're all nicely installed insulated sorry so there'll be no wind coming in from the side into the filter box possibly going to have to get another pack so I can do the back as well the front is already covered by a sheet like a membrane kind of thing so possibly won't be doing that but I'm possibly going to be doing this side. Um, this box, I will be changing it next year, summer, to um, a shed, possibly by three meters by four meters. And that way I'll have it all nice, all proper, weatherproof from wind, rain, all sorts of stuff and it'll be much more easy for me to get in and out of to maintain all my stuff so that's something to talk about for next year that's one of my plans for next year anyway um need to make a video on what my plans are for the next year so i'll be showing you about telling you guys about that as well so but anyway I won't babble, babble long about that these are all done and now i'm gonna fit in uh, this little light switch it takes um, three AA batteries and I didn't notice they've come with sticky little things on the back um, so I'm just going to undo these and stick that somewhere in the filter house I did buy a few but I think one is enough for now they were only three each so three AA batteries push like that and boom we've got a light at night time if I need to come in here so let's just install that somewhere and let's make our way into the filter box. A little bit tight around here, so I do apologize. So yeah, as I was saying, temps right now is external is 14 and in the pond. It's 12.7. So, 
like that. You can still give them a little feed. Try and paint uh, 50, 60, 70 grams every other day. Uh, drop down a lot on the feed. The rivers have changed a lot. So that's that. So possibly put that light somewhere there. Stick it over there. So when I come in here, I can see all my bits and bobs. Okay, so let's just get that on. Okay, so I decided to actually stick it onto the Nexus. So that's there. Those screws, and I think push of a button, boom, and we've got some light at night time. We need to come in here. So that's all done. And comes off the board like that. Change the batteries. Put it back in and you're good to go again. And you've got the light again. Simple as that. I think you can't go wrong for one quid. So switch that off now. Just gonna drop in some bits and bobs all over. It is a little bit tight in here. So let's get on with the next one and take it from there. Defo need another coffee to wake me up a little piece and to warm me up inside as well. I'm on my phone playing the clash having a quick little break so catch you guys in a bit. Okay so I'm gonna start disconnecting that pump over there now and raising it. And I've just put the lids back onto the filter box and I just want to come round here and show you the light that I've installed. Which is right there. And as you can see it's shining right over to my controllers, my electric box, my pumps. You can pretty much see everything in here pretty clear. So it's pretty dark in here. So um, the light is helping a little bit from this side and the gaps coming in. But as you can see, it's actually shining on all the controller stuff and everything. So pretty good for a quid. I recommend that stuff. So good little light. Okay, so I'm gonna just switch off the pump now uh, for the back here, uh, disconnect that and start raising it and connecting it all back up. So let me just crack on and I'll catch you guys in a sec. So these are all the parts that I've brought to connect to the pump. So I'm going to be taking off um, the original connected like this. Put this pump here. This was on top of the pump. And then this tube is directly into that like that and screwed in. I don't like these kind of stuff in the pond. Fish can actually damage themselves from it. Um, so, um, good thing I'm taking this out. I'm going to be replacing them in with these. No sharp edges for them to damage themselves on. And plus, the pipe I was using was a flexi pipe, weldable. I'm going to be changing it to waste pipe, black waste pipe. A um, bit more solid bit more neater looking in the pond so I'll get all that connected up to the pump and um, we'll take it from there okay I don't know if you can see through the net but I've cut all the pipe work down welded it all together the part that's um, connected to the pump is friction fitted and the rest is all welded all together 
Um, so as you can see, the pipe now is much neater. I run in down, put an elbow there, another elbow down there, a couple of elbows there, and nice and neatly out the pond. Before you had this big massive black pipe sticking halfway, you could see, now it's nice and neat. I'll just zoom right in there for you. As you can see, it's all nice and neat now. I said that five times. Spook that my fish. All the fish are doing great. Anyway, so all connected. I'll just come back around here. And just show you how I've got it all together. Okay, so pipe works coming out from there, as you can see. Also connected the valve here, pull valve, um, which I didn't have before. So I can shut the pump off if I need to maintain the UV light. Um, so that's all connected up as well. Get a better picture for you there. Try and get a better angle on me, sorry. There you go. Two inch valve there, two inch waste pipe coming up. All the two inch elbows. Just need to clean up my little mess there. And let's just switch the pump on and see if we get any leaks. Hopefully we don't. Pull up the valve. Okay, just forgot to open up the valve to let the water come through. So, all up and running. So far, no leaks. Got no leaks there. Got a slight leak here, right underneath, as you can see. And I've got a leak coming there. So, I need to change that. Okay, I've um, had to do a little adjustments here. I originally put a two inch valve here to shut the water off um, if I ever need to maintain the UV light. Um, had a few little leaks because um, I need a two ring pieces to go around the um, two inch waste pipe so I can connect it to the two inch valve. Sorry about that, just froze. So, Let's just switch it all back on and see if we get any leaks again. I am becoming famous for leaks now. Back on again. And so far, so good. No leaks there. Not sure if you guys can see. I've got to angle the camera a little bit to apologise about that. No leaks there, got no leaks here, and the back is up and running again. If I just come back round and show you the pipe work again. So, it's getting a little bit dark now. As you can see, the pipe's running there back down into the pump. All looking good, much neater. So if I can get a better angle from the pipe right there, no, too much reflection. So, that's all connected up. Uh, I'll just show you guys what I mean, what I needed. So, I've basically got a ring piece here for the two inch to go in. This is fine. 
no leads coming up to about here or from that point and then when I came here um, I didn't solve on this pipe to the ring here so I had a slight little leak coming out from there and the reason why I didn't solve and weld it is because I wasn't too sure if it was going to work but I've solved and welded the ring so I need to take this connector off and I need to basically purchase another ring like this which will go into here I'm trying to do this one handed and it's quite tight in there so this needs to come out the ring piece needs to go into there and then the two inch waste pipe will go back into there and then hopefully we'll have no leaks I'm going to do that tomorrow so we'll just get this video out for this what we've done so far and um, just update you on the next one okay so pretty much all coming to an end now so back is back up and running nice here we go pipes all fitted in no leaks exactly how we want it just need to hook up the net back up um, made a little mess over there going backwards and forwards need to quickly give that a quick little wash make it all look nice again I'm um, just going to drop the bomb in there into the Nexus not sure if you guys have seen these you're pretty much most familiar with this just a big bomb like this in a tub in gel so I'm going to dash that in um, once I've cleaned up all my mess so everything's all looking sweet and just quickly tidy up my mess and I'll catch you in a sec okay so I'm going to drop this uh, pure pond bomb into the Nexus one hand is so difficult okay so and it goes like that I don't know if you guys have noticed on the last video I took the fleece out but I decided to put it back in there Causing me no hassle, it's actually doing the pond good, so might as well keep it in. So, pure, pure pond bomb in the Nexus, and we're almost coming up to a wrap now. So, we've dropped the bomb in there, um, screwed on these wedgy kind of things to hold the installation in a bit better for the filter box put those sheets on the side there to stop the wind coming in to the box um, what else have we done oh yes and the pipe pump all ready now nice and lovely all the fish are coming up wanting more food lesson that's all done and now that it's gone a bit darker i'll just show you guys how well that little light that we've installed that i'm impressed with that is working just shut the stone a few sides oops that's that I can use those lines here. And there, uh, you can see, it's really dark in here. Oh, still a little bit of light coming in from the back, but not much. But I'll just show you guys um, how well it's actually working in here. You can see the light is right there. And just a little push. Boom. Nice little light on it. There you go. And look, you can actually see that it's actually working. I might install the other two in there, get extra more light, as I showed before. Shows in the controllers really well. You can see my tent's much better. All the electrics and all the pops up there. So, pretty good. 
I said you can't go wrong for a tweet. Okay. Just switch that off. Okay, and come back around now to the front. Just really tight around here, sorry about that. So coming back round, back round, and we're here. So all done. Nice little fun out here today. Had a little bit of rain, thought I was gonna get caught again, but got everything done. So thank you very much for watching the channel again. Um, like I said, I hope you guys are all safe and all doing well. Um, thanks a lot for watching the channel. Um, if you find any of this useful, um, please like and share. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe now. Um, that would be great. If you don't like the video, you can give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I'm not bothered. Either thumbs is good. So, all done, all keep safe, and thank you for watching.